Cortex Plant for me has so many functions in my general practice. And we wanted to talk about a few other places that a Quix Plant can really become a fantastic resource for you and your patients. Very common, I think, for all of us to see patients in our practices who come in and we see wear on their teeth. We suspect it's from attrition, from grinding their teeth, and yet they seem unaware of what's going on. Um, or another spin on that is that they say, well, I used to do that, but I'm not doing that anymore. And I will tell you for that, I, that's a quick splint is my best friend at this point, because I will invite the patient to learn about what's going on with their teeth when they're sleeping at night with me by the fact that we can make this quick, easy, inexpensive little device. They can sleep in it for just a little while and we'll actually have that evidence of what they're doing with their teeth. So I find it very easy to have patients want to do that and do this sort of, I coach it as a little experiment so we can learn about whether they're grinding or clenching and then we can get back together and we can talk about it. The other piece I think that's super common is we talk a lot today about posterior materials when we're doing crowns on, on first molars, on second molars. You know, are we going to go to high strength ceramics? Are we going to do more traditional PFM or all metal restorations? And one of the pieces of that is we're really trying to guess about the patient's parafunctional risk. How much risk are they adding to the equation because of the load that they can put on their teeth? Well, again, a quick splint for me is such a quick, easy way to get that information. And I get the information at the same time that the patient is getting that information. So I'll use that in my practice all the time. Another one for me that comes up very quickly um, is a post-op device after an endodontic procedure. So common when a patient has a tooth that's bothering them because you've just done endo and they literally can't touch their teeth together. The tiniest touch of their teeth is super uncomfortable. To be able to make them a quick splint, it takes less than two, three minutes and send them home with a device that they can rest their teeth together. They're not just trying to hold open, which can be straining to the muscles to stay off of that tooth. Um, and they can allow that tooth to heal without having that occlusal pressure and without us or the endodontist having to take a bird of that tooth and take the entire occlusal table off of that tooth. I'll tell you, I've also been known to do that for a tooth that the patient came in and I just diagnosed it as needing to have endo and the tooth is extremely uncomfortable to biting pressure. And while we're getting that patient on their antibiotics and we're referring them to the endodontist or we're getting them onto the schedule for that root canal, we'll send them home with a quick splint for the same reason, to give them a comfortable place to rest that gets them off of that tooth that's uncomfortable. And I'm guessing you can think of other times, I'm already standing here thinking, what about the tooth with a cracked cusp before we get in there to actually do the crown and get that taken care of? So those are all restorative applications for using a quick splint. I also make quick splints in my practice often for patients who come in and they've suddenly started to experience some jaw pain or some muscle pain that's acute. So they show up in my office because they yawned too wide or they opened up to eat something that was a little bigger than they expected it to be. And all of a sudden they're having jaw pain or they're having joint pain. And we wanna get those patients in an appliance, but being able to put them on a quick splint and give them instantaneous relief from their acute symptoms while we're sending records to the laboratory is just an unbelievable practice builder, patient rapport builder, um, and just a great service to be able to offer our patients. Um, and often I think about it, if they're in enough discomfort, I don't wanna put them through taking records today. I don't wanna try to take alginates or get all those records on a patient who's uncomfortable. I can make them a quick splint and then bring them back in three days or four days or seven days. And now we can get those records in a way that's very, very comfortable for the patient. And I'd hold out those records are actually more accurate at that point. Um, so we'll often use it for that, for those acute issues. I also use it often as a diagnostic tool. I have patients all the time who come in and talk to me about having headaches. And they're curious about whether or not there's any connection between their teeth and their headaches. Making somebody a quick splint can be a very easy way for us to learn together 
whether or not whatever they're doing on their teeth every day is actually contributing to the frequency or the severity of their headaches. So quickly we can learn that information without them having to go through um, more advanced diagnostics or the expense of having an appliance made just to figure out yes or no that it's going to work. So there's so many things that I think of where a quick splint for me, having those in my office, being able to um, have a team member make one or for me to make one very quickly and send a patient home um, is just a gift that I get to use on my patients every day. I'm sure you all will think of probably five to 10 more things that I haven't thought about as great uses for quick splint. So we look forward to hearing those.